On July 11, 2025, a landslide occurred into the Snake River near the town of Hagerman, Idaho. This slide was reported by rafters and residents in the area. I made a trip down the river to go check it out on August 9th, doing a little bit of recon, and then visited the site again on August 23rd when I shot this video and collected more information. So I thought it would be interesting for us to walk through uh, the features on the slide there and just to give you an idea of what a geologist sees when they look at an image like this. Let's start with sort of the, the size of this thing. Uh, you can see here that the, the height from river level up to the bench here is about 100 feet or about 30 meters in terms of elevation. So not a very huge landslide in terms of the you know, elevation difference and the, the energy that it can use with gravity to really move a huge amount of material. But nonetheless, that's fairly significant. The total area I've estimated is about 2.1 acres or about 8,600 square meters. You can see the area affected here um, from the tree in the lower left uh, up to the bench there where the green fields are and then extending over just about to where the, the trees begin again along the river level here. So let's look at a few of the features you can see looking at this image here. The first thing that might stand out to you is the feature at the top of the slope, which is what we call the head scarp. So this is the main point of detachment for the slope failure. This is where uh, it actually pulls away from the slope and moves downwards. You can see there's some material exposed there. I'll show you that here at ground level in a few minutes with my video. But this is what's known as the head scarp. Uh, if you think of faults, it's a little bit like a fault surface, but this of course is caused by gravitational forces as opposed to tectonic forces. The other thing that might pop out to you is the river down here at the bottom, and you can see the current moving from left to right along the Snake River. And you can see that the current there um, is significant enough that it's actively eroding the toe of the slope, which leads to continual instability of the slope. Obviously, as the river rises and falls with different um, discharge levels over the next year, that's going to have a fairly significant effect on how much of the material at the toe is eroded. And if you're eroding material at the toe, then you're obviously going to cause some instability issues further up the slope. Other things that might pop out to you as you look at this image would be these blocks here. You can see there's these patches of grass and, and vegetation here that have slid down the slope and are back rotated against the main uh, failure surface here. So these are the, what we call these rotated blocks. There's a big one over here and a secondary one right here. You also might be able to pick out, um, and I'll show you these up close here with the video, but there's these steep little faces. Um, th there's one here above this rotated block, another one below this one, a couple over here. These are similar to uh, slick and lines or fault surfaces we see. They are smaller secondary points of failure uh, planar or curved in sort of their 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 uh, shape, and this is where there's been movement of the slope uh, across some across some feature there. We have these two rotated blocks, and then the other thing that might stick out is this patch of ground here, which is obviously a little different color. And I'll show you that again in the video here, but this is completely saturated. So there is water that is saturating the slope material here, creating this saturated zone. There's a, a big one down here on the slope. And then there's a secondary one high up here on the head scarps. We have these two saturated zones here within this slide complex. So this fundamentally looks to me like a slump or a rotational slide with this sort of detachment point here, things sort of sliding down stair step style. Um, an eroded toe is often a common theme in this, this type of uh, slope feature or slope failure. Um, but there's obviously some more complications to it as well. So let's go ahead and go down to uh, river level, get down on the ground with my video, and we'll look at this thing in a little bit more detail. Hey friends, geology professor Sean Wilsey here. We're down at river level next to the Snake River to investigate this slide that occurred on July 11th of 2025. We took our raft down the river. I want to show you up close and personal just what this slide looks like, some of the features that are characteristic of it. Let's look also at the material that failed during this mass wasting event and see if we can piece together just what took place here. So right away, as I work my way away from the, the stream, you can see or the river, you can see these big cracks in the ground, these big fractures cutting 
perpendicular to the movement of the slide. There's one down here right by my feet running across the ground. Of course, we have all these rounded river gravels. Um, a lot of them are from the Bonneville flood. Then if we come up here, we can see a few more of these big uh, tension gashes, these big cracks in the ground perpendicular to the movement of the material. But the main slide is just up here. So let's go take a look up there and see what kind of material failed and exactly what the characteristics of this slide are like. All right, so we're working our way up to the slide itself and you can see a difference in color here. There's these lighter, more tan uh, bits of material here to my left. And as I look over here to the right, it is darker. The stuff to the right is just, you know, your typical, uh, you know, topsoil, the stuff that the plants are growing in. But the material to the left is quite a bit different. Uh, it's made out of this light colored material. It's layered a little bit. It's exceptionally smooth to the touch. Um, and as you can't, if you can't tell already, it's quite brittle. If I get a smaller piece of this, it's pretty easy to break. In fact, you can almost sit here and just crush this material into this fine powder. So this is all clay, basically, I guess a clay stone. Um, and that's the dominant material that fell, failed during this slide event. As we come up here, we can see there's sections of it that are um, tilted. So we've got a section right here that's tilted down towards the river. But then if we come up here, where we can see some more of this material, it's all these pillars sticking up out of the ground, um, kind of precariously, just sort of a helter-skelter mixture of material. I think we'll see that this is the primary material that failed during this mass wasting that you can see these just little fine little pillars of stone just barely sticking up out of the ground just precariously right this thing's just kind of ready to topple so all this material will likely um, once we get you know rain and through the winter and into spring a lot of this material will be remobilized a lot of this clay and these little delicate pillars will probably slide and fail so I wanted to come out here while this was still pretty fresh and just document what's going on. Of course, we still have the river at the bottom. So the river is still actively undercutting this slope, likely setting the stage for a future slide event. Um, but I think I want to get up a little bit higher and show you some of the other material that sort of caps this layer here. But maybe while we're here, this is probably a good place to talk about uh, this fine material. Um, and what we might be looking at here, you actually see this surface in front of me is smooth and polished. This could be an actual uh, detachment surface where the material actually slid down this way, a lot like fault movement, where we, where we might be looking at something like uh, slick and lines. You see another face just over the ridge here, another steep face where this material has failed along that plane. But before we get too far away from this light material, um, I think it's worthwhile to talk about why is this clay even here? We've clearly got these rounded river gravels um, in places. Well, why would we even have clay along this riverbank? And especially clay that's you know, thinly laminated and layered like this. Well, it's a fascinating story. The Snake River um, has had an interesting history and relationship with volcanoes in the region. So we actually had a eruption about 50,000 years ago at a place called McKinney Butte. And that eruption sent lava downhill and into the Snake River and actually dammed up the river completely. So a few miles downstream from where we are, the Snake River was completely dammed up by lava. And so the water backed up behind the river and formed a reservoir. And in that reservoir, as the water slowing down behind that lava dam, 
the water is becoming calmer, it's backing up, and those finest particles within the river are being dropped out and settling to the bottom, forming this layer of clay. This is actually a formal geologic or stratigraphic unit known as the Yahoo clay. So this is uh, known for, or it's named after a creek nearby called Yahoo Creek. So this is all material that was back settled in that backed up water behind that lava dam about 50,000 years ago. Now, ultimately the dam was breached. The lava dam uh, was destroyed by the river. And definitely once we had the subsequent Bonneville flood about 17,000 years ago, that would have taken it out as well. But we still have patches of this Yahoo clay just sort of blanketed and, and plastered onto the landscape along the river corridor. And it's this material, when this clay gets wet, uh, it becomes incredibly slippery. It actually expands a little bit and it's just prone to these slope failures. And so I think we have a combination of the clay getting saturated, um, undercutting by the river. You can see the bottom of the river down here where uh, the water is, uh, kind of taking some of that material away. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit there. So you can see some of the, the color there. So you can still see some of that clay is suspended and there's probably just periodic little collapses of these small rocks down into the river. Uh, and then that just, that clay stone just gets disaggregated and just carried and transported by the river. So let's head up a little higher because I want to show you the other unit that uh, shows up in this cut up here. Here's another one of these slip faces right here in front of me. You can see the lines moving down on that surface. And so this is, again, just like a fault plane where we see slicken lines. This is the, the point of failure. So this, this side of the block here slid down and left these striations on the material. But if we move over here, I think we can see the real smoking gun and the real cause of this mass wasting event. Let me see if I can jump over here. We have a little patch of wet ground. And so there is a bit of a spring or a seep. In fact, I can't even quite get over there. Um, my feet are starting to sink in, but it, we can see right here, there we go. A little patch of ground with some grass. Clearly it's wet and saturated and it's coming out of this hillside right here. Well, if you look back to the aerial image, um, I think we can tell what's going on. This thing doesn't go very high. I mean, we can see the top of the embankment right there, but what's going on just above us here, just up by that tree, is there's irrigation going on. And so that irrigation is adding water to the slope. That water then is infiltrating through the material and it's saturating this clay. And it's that cause that's causing the slide and the slope to fail and causing this mass wasting event that we're looking at here, kind of looking back down towards the river here. And again, looking at those sections of wet clay where some of the grass is coming up. So we're right up here near the top where you can see all these boulders and cobbles, again, um, in the bench there, actually in the cliff face, um, all deposited by the river. But that's not the part that actually failed. At least that's not the main part. We come down in here and we can see all the material that failed. And it's partially some of the gravel that was capping the thing, but a lot of it was this clay rich material. Right here in front of me, we can see a big section of the cliff that's come down and is slightly back rotated. Classic, what we call slump behavior. So the toe of the slope has been um, carried away and compromise, and so the slope has actually failed along this uh, curved failure point, and it's actually back rotated here along uh, this, what we call the head scarp, this high point here, or the last sort of cliff face, if you will, where everything has started to slide down. But basically this ground in front of me with a little bit of grass here used to be up at the top of the hill, and it slid down. We're probably looking at about maybe uh, 40 or 50 feet or so, so maybe like 15-ish meters, something in that realm. Um, and, and so you can actually see the back rotation up here, which is pretty remarkable. Let's see what we can see out over this way. You can see just how slanted 
the slope is here. And sure enough, there's some, uh, some more tension cracks up here caused by the movement. Some big ones here uh, on the back side where it's actually moved down. And then there's even a little bit of uplift right here. So it's actually rotated. And then this portion has stayed high on the left and the side on the right slid down a little bit. So you sometimes get these very complex, um, small scale features on these bigger slide blocks that usually somewhat look kind of simple uh, from you know aerial view. Here's the other side of this tilted block. And then we can see another one just over here where it's tilted back towards us. We can see the, the grass sitting there on top of that. So mainly this clay rich material, the Yahoo clay uh, has been the main cause of this event along with agricultural um, practices and the addition of water to the slope. Very similar to another thing downstream called the Bliss Landslide that occurred in 1993. And I have another video I did on that a while back and I'll put a link in the video description if you want to check that out. But it's the same material that had a much bigger slide event into the Snake River back in the summer of 1993. Really spectacular. Was really glad to be able to catch this. Um, few weeks after it happened to get out here when it's still fresh and recent before the the rain and whatever else a little bit of movement might kind of modify this thing here we can see actually a bit of the gravel with the clay beneath it uh, that slid down from the top in fact that might make a nice little spot to kind of wrap this up so let's head over here look at this Bonneville flood gravel perched on uh, the Yahoo clay down here. That material used to be up there. It slid down on July 11th of this year uh, due to this uh, big uh, and exciting mass wasting event. Pretty awesome. So before we sign off, I just thought I'd show you the drone shot I did with the rafts there in the foreground, give it a little bit of scale and see the river cutting along that lower slope. Um, and some of the things we pointed out before, the rotated blocks, those saturation zones where the water's seeping through. You can see actually the pivots and the sprinklers going up on the bench just above the slope, all that water infiltrating down, saturating that weak clay, and then causing the slope to fail. And then a nice view here, kind of wheeling around, looking to the west, and kind of looking at the slide in profile. Really a spectacular view there of that slide and again some rafts there for some scale thanks again for joining me on this fun little expedition wanted to show you this mass wasting feature up close i was going to stop here anyway with our little raft crew and investigate and just yeah just really spectacular stuff here thanks for joining me and appreciate your support of the channel